I know people are always saying, oh, you must love having the summers off and you don't work that much and whatnot, but I can't, I can't just teach a simple lesson. I can't just say, read the book and answer the questions. I really need to have a little something extra to engage the students and something creative that keeps me going. And there's a great feeling that comes when you do teach a good lesson and when you know you put in a lot of your, your, yourself into that lesson. But all, that takes a lot of time and preparation in order to do that. They don't stay here between 8 and 2. They either come early in the morning or they stay late at night or some teachers mostly do both. They're here for longer than an 8 hour work day usually. He's a good guy and I know that he would take the time, more time than he already does, to get to know more of his students. I'm sure he would do more if he could. I'm 30 years old now and I really do want to start a family and think about starting a family and uh, having kids is something that uh, I do want to do. but. There's no way, no way that I could do that right now. It's with my schedule, with the amount of uh, time I spend at the school and at my second job, there's, there's no way I would have the time to spend uh, with a child. I think it'd be better if they could just focus on being teachers because then they wouldn't have to worry about juggling another job and like doctors and stuff. They don't really have to worry about that. Kind of going check to check every every couple weeks. I still have a lot of student loans and I went to school in state. It's crazy to think that I could make more money bartending than I can teaching. I don't really hear people saying, oh, I want to be a teacher or oh, my mom wants me to be a teacher. You're not able to strike it rich in it, so a lot of people kind of look at it as a lesser job. I see it as a very valuable job. Without our teachers, there wouldn't be the doctors. All people can agree that students are really the future and that there's nobody that really wants to hold the future back or to stop students from succeeding. But to actually put that into effect is a different story and there's a lot of times where I don't see that. I don't see people appreciating what teachers do. I don't see the government putting in anything that's trying to help education or move education forward and I just don't see that serious engagement with the state of education and I think it's really important for everybody to, to look at the concrete things that we need to change and uh, ways that we can improve learning if we do want to be serious about the students' futures.